Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Julie Dirt. On this Thursday morning, we are waking up to partly cloudy skies, but boy, it was a hot one yesterday, South Florida. So hot, we officially broke the record in Miami for the second day in a row. Our official high was 96 degrees. The old record was 94, set back in 2010. It'll be another warm one today, but not nearly as hot. Highs today are forecast in the lower 90s. Live look outside, mostly clear skies out there. Calm conditions over Biscayne Bay. Today is the day to head to the beach or do any boating because our winds are going to be so light, there are no advisories. We're dry from Lake Okeechobee all the way down to Key West, and that's how things will stay until the afternoon. Then we are expecting the development of the sea breeze, and once that occurs, we will see a better chance of some showers favoring the inland portions of Miami-Dade and Broward. Look at these temperatures, 75 degrees in Pompano Beach, as well as Pembroke Pines, 76 in Fort Lauderdale, with a relative humidity of 74%. In Miami, checking in with 75, as well as Miccosukee, 71 in Homestead, with a relative humidity of 71%. The winds are light, moving in anywhere between 3 and 5 miles per hour. And in the Keys, Key West, you're waking up to the lower 80s, and also seeing the lower 80s in Marathon, with more of a south wind, anywhere between 6 and 8 miles per hour. So we're basically in the middle of two air masses, a broad area of high pressure. We have one in the Gulf of Mexico, one in the Atlantic. We do have some scattered showers popping up on the satellite and radar, mainly for northern portions of Florida, but we are dry here in South Florida. We are expecting our wind flow to move in from the east-southeast later on today, and that will help push any storms that do develop throughout the inland portions of Miami-Dade and Broward and back towards the west coast. The ingredients are all going to be there. It's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and we will see the collision of the sea breeze, and that will trigger those storms. Going into Friday, a little bit of a change. The high pressure located over the Gulf of Mexico will push over the state, and that will bring us a bit more dry air, so therefore that will suppress any widespread chance of storms. Any isolated storms will mainly favor inland Broward as well as Miami-Dade once again Friday and move to the west coast. So if you have plans to head to the coast in the next couple days, you'll enjoy plenty of sunshine and it will be hot. Dry conditions in the Gulf of Mexico, and as you can see in the Caribbean, we are still watching some tropical moisture. If that moisture holds, it could move into our forecast for the weekend, so we'll have to keep our eyes on it. Otherwise, nothing going on in the Atlantic. Things are quiet as well, and no tropical cyclone development is expected. No advisories for your marine forecast. The bay will be the light chop for Miami, Dade, and Broward. For you in the Keys, no advisories. Near shore water smooth. Highs today in the lower 90s at the coast, 95 inland. Lows will be in the mid to upper 70s. Here's your 7 on 7 forecast. We'll keep our highs in the 90s with a better chance of showers, possibly by Saturday and into Sunday. Have a great day.